most people know that 15 to 20 minutes a day is just not enough. So the formal recommendations are uh, to exercise for at least 30 minutes a day um, um, of moderate intensity exercise. That would be like a brisk walk or uh, you know, a moderate swim. Uh, that would be a moderate intensity exercise. Uh, you, can, you can maybe exercise a little bit less if you're really going, um, you know, high intensity exercise, you could certainly do less. Um, but it is recommended that you don't lump the exercise only on the weekend. Now there's more recent uh, uh, information uh, from, uh, from the uh, Heart Association that suggests that women should be exercising longer, more like an hour a day, six days a week, in order to maintain their weight. And these are women as they get older. Uh, and certainly we do tend to see that, that the tendency to gain weight is greater uh, in women as we get older. And so um, increasing that amount of time may be important as we get older. But um, in general, if you can do 30 minutes a day, if you're just trying to maintain, that's adequate. Now I mean, if you're 19 years old and you have no symptoms, uh, you know, and you want to start an exercise program, certainly by all means go ahead and start. Uh, if you're, um, you know, 40 years old with uh, several risk factors, then you, and you're starting an exercise program, then you should definitely speak with your physician. They can uh, review your risk factors and they may, depending on what they are, decide to do a stress test before they le let you exercise. Unfortunately, there is no magic bullet. Uh, the magic bullet is exercise and, uh, and control of diet and portions. And anybody who thinks differently, uh, I would argue that you may lose the weight, but the chances of you keeping off are, are small. So, but, but if you can incorporate it into your lifestyle, the chances of you doing it in a more healthful way, in a safe way, in a long-term way are much, much greater. And yes, it does irritate me no end when I see those, uh, those ads because there is no free lunch. Bottom line, there's no free lunch. You're gonna have to increase your uh, expenditure of calories by exercising and you're gonna to need to eat less calories. It's the only way to lose weight. You need to expend about 3,500 calories in order to lose one pound of weight. And that seems like a lot. But if you say, excess, if you burn 500 calories extra every day for a week, you would lose a pound. Or if you cut down your diet by 500 calories every week, you would lose a pound. So the math just works that way. I know very busy professionals that exercise regularly. Uh, they make time for it. They just get up early or stay late or make time somewhere in the day. Believe me, it is possible. Um, I do it, my family does it, my friends do it. Uh, we make time to do it. Uh, and I think that most people, barring just a few exceptions, should be able to find the time to do 30 minutes. That's not too much to ask. And it's important. I see it all the time. Once people get started and they actually begin to see the benefits of exercise, uh, at that point they're hooked. Just getting over that hump is what's really important. But if I would say one thing, I would say, make up your mind to do it, get up every morning, and get down and do the exercise. You may not exercise as hard every day, but do something. Do something aerobic at least five to six days a week. And then uh, on the days that you're not doing aerobic work, uh, do some strength training. And that strength training becomes even more important as we get older. But the key is commit yourself 
do something. Don't, 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 don't hold back because as soon as you get into that frame of mind that exercise is a part of your day, um, that's when you'll begin to see the long-term benefits.